Okay, so um, it happened again. <laughs> I got into another arguing with uh, the quivering. So uh, I guess I'll just go through what happened and then I'll kind of give my take. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I actually feel like I have something to say about the situation as opposed to just finding the whole situation amusing, which I do, by the way. <laughs> um, but I actually do feel like I have something to say here. Okay. So, the quartering started uh, with his initial tweet. These clowns think I didn't pay careful attention to my peers who got sucked into these totally intellectually honest quote-unquote debates only to get harassed with false flagging and demonetized. Sorry losers, build your own audience. Dot dot dot. If everything you say about me is true, it's super easy. So, I honestly don't really know what he's talking about with... Um, people getting harassed with false flagging and being demonetized like this is like a really stupid vague tweet that doesn't like really say anything I don't I just don't know um and yeah so then someone responded to him he says he said why don't you ever debate people like destiny or Vosh and uh and then the quivering response because I like to spend my extremely limited free time talking to people who can better me these two are debate tards, no real knowledge, but rely on tactics. That's a, that's a, that's a sentence that he wrote. <laughs> um, I'd rather play with my cats. Now I, I have no problem with, uh, with people, playing wanting to play with their cats. I think that's uh, I think it's that's a noble a noble thing to pursue. Um, whatever. I do have a problem is when he says these two are debate tards no real knowledge but rely on tactics um yeah so i i have a bit of a problem with that um i basically just said people like the quivering consider being asked to clarify their positions to be sneaky debate tactics uh lamel because like yeah like a lot of people that like destiny and vosh debate like they've like like a lot of times like it's just them like being like hey like clarify your position further and then like people think that that's some like like intellectual um debate tactic judo move <laughs> meant to um epically destroy them in in the in the battlefield of ideas when it's just like a pretty normal thing to do <laughs> um but uh, that got the quivering's attention so he says wanna come on my stream and own me i mean you obsessively reply to every single tweet get famous so um that is true i i i do i i do mess with the quartering a lot mostly because i just think it's fun like i think he's one of the uh, the most fun people to mess with and not even really mess with but just be like because like he'll just make really dumb tweets like i know like recently he was like tweeting about like this like she cartoon and he he says that there's an agenda and a weird thing with these people is that I'll, I'll literally just ask them, like, hey, what what's the agenda? And they won't ever, like, obviously they're saying that the agenda is that, um, like, this cartoon is trying to, like, like brainwash kids into thinking that, like, uh, homosexuality is okay. Like, that's obviously, like, the quote-unquote agenda that they're talking about. But they'll never say what it is directly. It's really, it's really weird. But, yeah, it's just stuff like that that I... That's like this is my pastime is to like mess with the quartering <laughs> and um just reply to his dump tweets. Um and yeah, so he's and it's actually pretty funny that like he recognizes me now. I I, I didn't realize that I'd like triggered him that hard. Um but yeah, so he wants he he's asking me if I want to go onto his stream and own him. And um first of all, I just like to say that um I am uh I'm really glad that uh, the quivering does not consider me to be a debate hard. He he thinks that I do have real knowledge, and he you know he thinks that I pers I don't rely on debate tactics because he I mean he wants to debate me. The reason why he won't debate um, Vosh in Destiny is because of those reasons. So clearly I'm like a really good faith actor. So I'm I'm glad that the qu that the quivering thinks that about me. Uh yeah so I basically then reply to him. Uh, sorry, unfortunately, I have a very fr uh, very limited time frame in my schedule. Uh, I'm sure Vosh is probably free. And, um, I mean, the reason I 
I said that is because uh is kind of like to make fun of him because he said that you know his he has he has a very tight schedule the quivering right he only he can't debate these people he has a very very tight schedule especially now during quarantine like such a tight schedule and so that's kind of what what my tweet was was getting at and then yeah and then he says imagine thinking me arguing with a disingenuous toddler is a good use of my time uh yeah so this is just him like assassinating vosh's character okay and so i feel like i should clarify why i why i don't want to go on to debate the quartering or the quivering i'm sorry i don't mean to mispronounce his name um basically it's because he's doing pretty much the same thing that like uh steven uh clam chowder does um like steven clam chowder he won't debate someone like sam cedar right a knowledgeable lefty with a decent following because he knows that if he does that then he's most likely uh going to come out looking bad in that debate and it's gonna damage his reputation and like i mean come on if the quivering ever did ever actually like stop being a beta male cuck and uh <laughs> debated vosh like it, we, we all know how that would end and end up uh, and, you know, that's why, like, I am, and, you know, and so Steven Crowder, he will go to college campuses with his, like, change my mind segments and debate a random college kid, right? Like, I am the random college kid in this situation. The quivering is basically seeing, sees that, like, oh, I can debate this, like, random guy on Twitter. Um, like, if I went on to that debate, even if I did well, which I don't know that I would, because I, that's, like, I've never really done that before, um like if i did that then like there's really no harm to be done to him because i don't have any sort of following like at all so i guess i just don't feel comfortable in like playing into his little game right right and like i even said like yeah if he actually debated um like vosh or vegan gains then sure yeah i think I, I i would then um feel comfortable with going on to his uh uh onto his channel and talking to him and uh but like i said before he's not gonna do that he said vosh already proved he's a hack he got caught lying about his debate with dank uh, he's talking about count dankula and also even though dank still chose to engage him he got destroyed again i mean i'm i'm all for pissing on ashes but yeah like he's not gonna debate vosh or vegan gains because as i've explained before like he knows that that would damage his reputation yeah so like i feel like i have a pretty like um principled reason as to not wanting to debate him even th like like i know i know some people will think that i'm just like chasing clout or whatever but like if i was in this situation I would be like jumping at the chance to get onto his channel to debate him like are you kidding me i have like 34 subscribers if i went on his channel like even if i got owned as an sjw beta male uh soy boy cuck or whatever that would only help me <laughs> like that would only bring more eyeballs onto my channel um so like no i'm not really here just trying to chase clout like i feel like i have a pretty principled reason to not wanting to like play into um the quarterings like uh whole like game here and by the way if you don't think that he's playing a game here like if you if you think he's being like an like an honest actor here and he genuinely doesn't want to do debates or whatever look at how he reacts when the needle drop right someone who is incredibly popular who's more popular than him and if he debated him would bring a lot more eyeballs onto his channel does he have the same stance with the needle drop no when the needle drop uh, starts dunking on him imagine being you at the needle drop who claims to be at the forefront of what's cool calling something cringe in 2020 what an amazing loser pop on my live stream tough guy oh oh wow would you look at that so when someone who's relatively smaller than him but you know still has a sizable audience and that he knows would beat him in a debate like vosh 
when he challenges the quartering to a debate or when the quartering or or when he criticizes the quartering quartering silent or completely refuses to do a debate when the needle drop dunks on him someone who is way bigger than him someone who he has material gain he, when he has something to gain from wanting to debate him oh he is so ready to debate him like like even if uh fantano beat him in a debate like that would still bring more eyes onto his channel than he would have had previously like it would bring like it would bring an entire like new uh like section of people who never have even heard of him onto his channel so like that debate could really only um help with court the quartering so like that's the thing the quartering he doesn't have like some like principled stance on like um on not wanting to debate people because they're dishonest actors because like honestly if he considers like Vosh to be a dishonest actor then he would consider the needle drop to be a dishonest actor okay so hopefully that's the last video i ever make on the quartering like even if i get into another like discussion with him like this i probably won't make another video like i, I don't want to like turn this channel into like a youtube drama channel because i just i i just want to talk about movies on here but um the first time i just thought it was a funny situation and uh this time i thought it was a funny situation and uh i just kind of felt like i had actually had something to say about um these like anti sjw grifters so bye